Hello guys, my name is Majin Grimlock and I know I'm kind of late with this but I just wanted to do a video talking about some of the news that we got regarding the new version and this in the notices in game in case anyone hasn't read it yet so the new version is supposed to be released in June and right now this the date they plan on doing it so I'm recording this video in May so probably another month or so before we get it I'm just gonna do a rundown of some of the things that's supposed to be changed up in the new version mostly it's gonna be from what I've seen I've seen some people doing some beta videos on it of beta gameplay it's basically the same game in general so like if you know how to play the game now it's basically the same same uh, uh, buttons and stuff for your characters but it's going to be some new implications on there um let me just okay so one thing they're going to do the tutorial they're going to try to make it i guess faster so new players can understand it better understand it way quicker as well and be able to start playing sooner and they're going to adjust some of the things already in the game like endless corridor should be returning it's just going to change up I don't know how they're gonna change it up same thing with daily instances spirit trials the online modes so probably stuff from like share them gate runestone challenges all that coterie special training as well as club related instances so the clubs will still be around and they're gonna temporarily close temporarily close demon trials the theater mode stage 101 through 200 of endless corridor as well as the share them gate so they're gonna be back in the game but just like how we had to wait a few months for some stuff to come in in the original version same thing on there they're gonna add it back over time the dates all the date gameplay and scenes all that is gonna be changed so like whatever we do for the dates now they're gonna be taken off and it's gonna be a whole new system for that they're also gonna add the attribute system so if you play games like maybe Dokkan Battle or like SAO Memory Defrag or Unleashed Blading you know they have the attribute system where you got this type is stronger than this type I call it like a big rock paper scissors wheel or, or rock paper scissors wheel where this type is having an advantage over this so they're gonna start adding that into the game now character growth that yeah, the keepsake and the Sephira as well as gems all this stuff is going to be adjusted but the treasure and covenant is going to be gone that's going to be deleted so no more of the, the lost trial stuff with it with the ship and the covenant all that's going to be gone character balance some characters are I guess probably going to be nerfed and some characters might be buffed whatever their role is going to be I'm still not sure how that's going to work out with the roles, characters are going to be made to fit that role specifically. So, keep that in mind. Also, the new character rank system. No more B through EX system, like double S and all that. That's going to be changed. On here, it says it's going to change to four to five star, and the star level can't be changed. So, if characters are five star, they're only going to be a five star. The four star only gonna be the four star. And any of the shards you have for the character is supposed to be changed to a new system. So if it all this data does convert the way they said it would, then any of the crystals and stuff we have for the character are gonna be converted to something brand new. And the gotcha system is gonna be changed up. The gotcha system is gonna have an overhaul in terms of the rate, the pity system, the animation, all that's supposed to be changed. I'm not too sure how I feel about that because I personally felt like Data Live Spirit Players had one of the better gotcha systems, in my opinion, compared to some other games that I played. Especially the Pidgey system. So, then I already said Lost Trial is going to be deleted. The Instructor system is going to be deleted, which I never really used. Passive skills are going to be deleted. I don't know how I feel about that one. I kind of enjoyed it. But the skill tree is going to be the same as well as the awakening system. They're just going to adjust it. 
So we'll see how they're gonna do it on the new version. The Angel Break, you know, we could get like 25 shards of a character and keep on leveling up the Angel to add more to the skill tree. That's gonna be gone. Uh, Y'all said the date system, covenant. Let's see, fight for territory. It is deleted. Yeah, fight for territory is gonna be gone. And we'll get the reward when as soon as season five ends. I think we'll go ahead and get the reward. It probably end in a couple days right now from when I'm recording this. And they'll just send us the reward in the email. The season card and week card. That's gonna be gone. So let me see. I believe is that the subscription? I don't think that's a subscription, no. But either way, as well as the cultivation of funds, some of the stuff that's in the um can't think of what it's called, the store thing over there. They're gonna be in fact, let me just tap up. Supply station. I don't know why I couldn't think of the name. So a lot of that stuff is gonna be readjusted. The support event, as well as the command mode, you know, we can just send them out into battle without actually playing. All that's gonna be deleted. And keep in mind, some stuff is probably they're gonna add some new stuff in place of that, I'm sure. So we just had to give it time to add new stuff over time in the game. Then a lot of these stores are gonna be closed. The share them, trial store, the gift store, about all that's gonna be closed. And again, especially like the date system, since that's gonna be brand new, it's probably gonna be something else in place of that. So this one's gonna be gone, but I guess it's gonna be something new. Okay, the month card, this is what I was looking for. The month card, you better keep your remaining days that you have now on the month card. So whatever you're at now, it'll finish off even until the new version when it comes out. If you still have days left over. So that should be good. As well as special training and club mode. So all that all that should be carried over into the next game, but just it's gonna change up. Then other stuff, the main story, some of the stages are gonna be changed up. You know, some of the stages we got character shards, since there's no longer gonna be character shards, that's gonna be changed. So and the top up benefits, that's gonna be changed as well. So whatever progress you're at, it's gonna keep that. So if you spent so and so amount of money in the top up benefit, you'll keep that and you'll just you can just keep on going from there. And Keep in mind, this is the the new version still is not officially out yet, so some things still may be changed. We'll just have to wait until then, and we'll see if we get any more notices about what they're gonna do. So anything like diamonds and tokens that you have is gonna it's gonna be carried over as long as you have your account linked to your email. And I showed on my last video doing news on Data Line, so this pretty much it. The stuff that we known for now that's supposed to be added to the new version the biggest thing I'm concerned about is make sure yes that we have all of our characters including the collab characters I really was a fan of my double S blonde who I got the EX like the only double S character I got the EX so I hope characters like that we still get to keep but we'll see let me know what you guys think please like and subscribe and comment down below how you feel about what we have so far and see you guys next time